Today's video is going to be on three topics. Talking about cameras. And I want to rant a little bit about the cameras that I have currently. And talking about brands or two specific types of backpack blowers. For the camera rant, yesterday I was doing a, a yard and I had a ton of footage. I was using a new camera, which I'm using currently, one of, anyway. I'm using three cameras right now at the same time just to make sure that I capture this. Plus other things, I'll get into that later. But I was using a newer camera, it's actually a phone, that uh, to record with. And the quality, while out in the good light, it, it has good quality video, or good enough for me, for my standards anyway, without buying an expensive camera, but uh, and it's got great battery life compared to my other two cameras, but I had a ton of footage with this camera and lost practically all of it. I had like 19 small videos that I made because every time I'd move the camera I'd save and by the end of the day I lost like 15 videos off one property. So I was pretty upset about that. And I think the reason why that happened was because of my memory card. I could be wrong, probably am. I don't know much about technology, cameras in general. But I just today got a new, got two new micro SD cards. SanDisk 32 gigabyte uh, cards and I've had trouble out of both the camera so far and my action camera. The action camera has always had problems ever since I've had it of corrupting the data, messing the data up, uh, recording over data, the whole video becoming corrupt and just all kinds of crap like that so hopefully this new disc will help it out. If it don't if this don't work for this camera, my recommendation is just don't even fool with buying a cheap camera. Either use your phone, because the phones nowadays, people seem to use their phones all the time to record with and record real good video with them. If you've got a decent phone, use it or buy a name brand camera, like a actual camcorder type camera or a GoPro action cam or something. Just go name brand. I went cheap. And it's definitely hurt me. I have lost so much video this year that you guys ain't even gotten to see. It is ridiculous. Now on the topic of cameras, now on the topic of cameras, I have been wanting to get a new camera. Unless this is going to work, well, I still need a new camera to get better quality. So I've been looking at GoPros. Nick was saving green. He has used a GoPro all year and had seemingly no problems at all with it. And I've read a lot of reviews on a lot of different cameras, mainly GoPros, and there's a lot of things about the GoPros that just, I don't want to take the risk on. To me, they're overpriced, and to have that kind of problem from that many people is just risky. Especially to me, after buying this action cam that had such great reviews, but, you know, live and learn, I guess. I've never, I don't know nothing about this. I'm just getting into it and just trying to do my own way about it with both my lawn care business and YouTube. So I know that I don't want to get a cheap camera unless I can find one that's really, really good. Well, that's the thing about Amazon reviews. People have bad luck with them and a lot of people lie about stuff and this, that, and the other. So you don't know what to believe. So... Do you guys think it'd be good to get a GoPro? Which I'm sure everybody's going to say it will be. But I'm not getting the brand new one. The Hero 6. I have heard a lot of bad things about it. Plus it is just too expensive for a little action camera. That's just the GoPro line in general to me is over, overpriced big time. But I want to get a better camera. Backpack blowers. I don't know if I'm going to get a backpack blower this year or not. I doubt it. Because cleanups, unless I start getting some or something, 
but I'm pretty much done with cleanups. And my little handheld blower, my steel BG50, is got a lot of power and does a good job for what it is. But I do want a backpack blower. I just like backpack blowers. Even if I got one that wasn't no power, more powerful than my steel BG50, I would like one. I just like using them. But I've narrowed my options down to two. Either a BR450 CEF with the electric start or the Husqvarna 5A BT. And the reason why I've come down to those two, the 450, the BR450 is the same price as the BR600 and the BR700, and it has the same, very, or very close to the same, CFMs. It's basically a small BR600 with electric start. You can look it up. They have 600 some CFM, and the BR600 has 600 some CFM. They're basically the same. One just has the electric start, and they're the same price. To me, it's a no brainer. The electric start works good. That's pretty much the only reason why I want the steel BR450. But, David, why don't you get the BR700? It's the top of the line steel. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. I had to. But anyway, like I say, it's no, it's not much more. Move, move, move. It is the top of the line BR or six. It is the top of the line steel. I know that. It's 900 some CFM. I know that. I watched reviews on YouTube of the B of the Husqvarna 580BT, and there are people that have switched from steel to the Husqvarna. So that's kind of getting my, making me lean toward it. Plus, I really don't need nothing huge powerful, but in the price range of about $500 to $600, which is what most backpack blowers run, I really like the 580BT. Plus, I really do want to try something different from steel. I love steel. I've got so many steel products. I absolutely love steel. But I would like to try something different, just to try something different. So, those are my two choices. I'm going to either get a BR450 CEF electric start steel, or the or the Husqvarna 5A BTS. I will put a card, whichever side it is, in the video, a poll. I would like you all to vote on what you think. Comment down below what you think between the two choices. You can comment whatever you want. You tell me if I should buy an Echo, or I should buy this, I should buy that. But my two choices are going to be the Husqvarna 5A BTS or the BR450 CEF specifically. Those two. Tell me what you all think. I really appreciate it. And I believe that is it. I am filming on three different cameras. I literally am. Y'all should see this. I want to take a picture and get this all in one shot, I don't think. So, the reason why I'm filming on three different cameras is just to make sure that I get everything. Because I'm making content here for like four or five different videos all in one sitting. Move, move, move.